Hey folks, how's it going? Me, Brandon over here at Arsenal again. Um, what we're doing today, and what I should have done to begin with instead of this stupid mistake I made, was I put Plasti Dip on my bumper to try and cover up some stuff. Not my best choice, but anyway. Um, what we're doing today is we've put paint remover on it. I'm just out here because it's nice out I'm doing this but here's what I bought that right there it's not the greatest you can buy it at Lowe's they have a bigger jug for like 40 something dollars but oh my nose itches sorry but that's what I got and uh, of course there's my son in the background I need him over here to hold the camera but I'll show you what this looks like. Get your damn hand out of the camera. Grab the back of it. This is what it looks like before I scrape it. And as you can see, it's been the 15 minutes that it says to wait. As you can see, it is taking paint and all off. I mean, it looks like goo. But... Uh, works real good on Plasti Dip if you actually let it set long enough. Sometimes you have to let it set longer than 15 minutes. But 15 minutes, bam. Uh, I do recommend, though, before you get too carried away with it, that you don't set your putty knife on the hood of your truck after you've been scraping paint paint remover off it's not why i did that i'll never know but i guess here in a day or two i have a patch on my hood i'll have to just touch it up with some paint but you know that is what it is but like i said the reason i'm doing this is to fix an uh oh and figured it'd be a good opportunity to show you folks that there is a better way then the old DA sander and the sandpaper because trust me the DA sander and sandpaper only goes so far as you can see I mean there goes the plasti dip gone now naturally there's places where it's thicker so it's leaving what it didn't get to what it didn't eat off but been in there you need to slide down there. but been in there it's it's kind of one of those deals you know you know when you get into plasti dip that you're gonna have to figure out how to take it off because you never get enough coats on and it never comes off like it's supposed to now there's some guys out there that'll swear by it sorry I'm not spending all day putting 30 coats of freaking Plasti Dip all over my truck. Just not. Like I said, this was a dumb, dumb mistake. And this is the only remedy I have for it. So. Anyway, I'll catch y'all later whenever this is done. And we'll show you the finished product of what it looks like after it's all stripped. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.